they are also like us only you know kavita ma'am yes all right so today oh, we are talking about verbs uh, verbs verbs yes so yeah. now first of all what does it mean by verb verb is an action word superb verb is an action word action word simply a word which talks about an action or the state of a subject is known as the verb right so a verb generally talks about an action or it states of the subject it states the subject okay so what the what subject is doing yes. what subject is doing exactly that is what called verb verb right. one minute i will write sir all right a verb always indicates an action or a work yeah. a verb always indicates an action or a work Oh. A word which uh, talks about an action, or I can't see because of a photo. Yeah, no problem. So yeah. I'll share it later. No All right. So now you just focus on the screen. Yeah. All right. Now, classification of verb. So verb has generally classified into two types. Two. Yes. main verbs and helping verbs verb has been classified into two types main verbs and helping verbs main verbs are also known as lexical verbs and helping verbs are also known as auxiliary verbs lexical verbs auxiliary, auxiliary verbs main auxiliary. verbs auxiliary yes main verbs helping verbs lexical verbs auxiliary verbs now let us talk about main verbs little Deep. yeah main verbs again divided into two more types those are nothing but regular verbs and irregular verbs regular verbs and irregular irregular verbs yes so helping verbs again divided into be forms do forms have forms and modals be forms do forms have forms and modals so this is what the general classification mm. we need so far but if you observe here again i have given some more information like transitive verbs intransitive verbs finite verbs and non finite verbs okay so this is the classification based on the object mm. right so we don't need this confirm this concept because transitive we are not one minute one minute sir i like So I'll give you I'll give you this information, ma'am. You can watch yeah. the video again, no problem. Finite and non-finite. Yeah. Finite, finite, no finite. Yes, finite and non-finite verb. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. All right. Next. Types of verbs. So now let us discuss all the types of verbs in detail. now first verbs are divided into two types main verbs and helping verbs main verbs and helping verbs helping verbs now first of all what is main verb what does it mean by main verb what is main verb or what does it mean by main verb a word which indicates an action is called a main verb main verb means a word which indicates an action a word which is talking about action is known as main verb main verb is also called as lexical verb main verb is also called as lexical verb example run jump walk sleep eat smell love go etc run jump, jump. Walk, walk sleep, sleep. Eat, eat smell, smell. Love, love go etc 
So Shikha. these are the verbs. If you observe all the verbs talking about a particular action, these are the words talking about a particular action. That's why we are calling them as main verbs. Mm -hmm. That's why we are calling them as main verbs. Now come to helping verbs. A word which gives some support to the main verb is called helping verb. It is going to be a bridge between the subject and main verb. A helping verb is nothing but it's a kind of bridge between the subject and main verb. That word is known as helping verb. It helps main verb. Right? Helping verb is also called as auxiliary verb. Helping verb is also called as auxiliary, auxiliary verb. verb. Right. Now, am, is, are, was, were, do, did, have, has, had, can, could, will, should, might, etc. Alright? Am, is, or, was, were, will, do, did, have, has, had, can, could, will, should, might, etc. So these are all helping verbs. If you observe, these are all the helping verbs generally placed after the subject in a sentence. These are all the helping verbs generally placed after the subject in a sentence. These are act, uh, these are all the words generally act as the supporters to the main verb. They'll give some support, some help to the main verb. That's why we are calling them as helping verbs. All right. Yeah. Yes. Now, types of main verbs. Types of main verbs. Main verbs are again divided into two types. Main verbs are again divided into two types. Two types. First one, regular verbs. Second one, irregular verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. What does it mean by regular verb and what does it mean? Irregular verb. First of all, just look at regular verb. By looking at the word, you will get some idea. Regular. What does it mean? Regular. So frequently me... coming. All right. Frequently. Maybe frequently coming. Mm, okay. So here, a regular verb means a verb which forms. The other forms of verbs by adding ed or d is known as regular verbs. For example, if there is a verb which can be formed rest of the forms. For example, if I give you v1, if you are able to form v2 and v3 forms by adding d or ed to base form, that verb is known as regular verb example jump jumped jumped yes. right here if you observe i just added ed to v2 ED. and v3 i just added ed if you remove these two words these these two letters if you remove yes. these two letters it will be nothing but v1 okay yes. to make v2 and v3 from v1 if you add just ed or d, if you are able to make v2 and v3, those verbs known as regular verb. This is the rule. So according to this rule, if any verb is able to change the form from v1 to v2 and v3, those verbs known as regular verbs. Another example, kill, killed, killed. Kill, killed, killed. Look, looked, looked. Clear, cleared, cleared. Tie, tied, tied. Okay, so here I just added ed or d. 
Okay. Here I just added ed or d to make v2 and v3 from, from v1. I just added. Which is, which is main verb or jump? No, these are all main verbs. So regular oh. verbs are regular verbs, irregular verbs. Both are main verbs only. Numbers but only. under the main verbs, we are talking about regular verbs. So oh. main verbs divided into two types. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Now we are talking about regular verb. Regular verb means by adding D or ED to V1, if you are able to change that verb from V1 to V2 and V3. By adding D or ED, if you are able to change V2 and V3 forms from V1, those verbs known as regular verbs. So, so jump, is, jump is regular verb. Yeah. No, no, no. Jump. All are regular verbs. So here, jump. This is V1. Okay. V2, V2. V2. And V3. V3. Right? So yeah. uh, what are the words we added just here to make V2 and V3 ED. forms? We ED. just added ED. ED. Correct? Yeah. By adding ED. No. If you are able to change from V1 to V2 and V3, that is nothing but regular. Regular. Right? So come here also. Tie. Okay. Tied. 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 Okay. So what we added here? We just added. Only D. Only D. Superb. Only, Only D. D. So now, what we need to understand? By this adding, or, by adding D R E D, by adding D R E D, if you are able to change from V one to V two and V three, those verbs are called as regular verbs. Oops. Yes, super. Now, come to irregular. irregular verbs. So here I have given one rule: if you are able to change v1 to v2 and v3 by adding dred that is not that is nothing but regular verbs correct yeah so now yes. irregular verbs irregular verbs little opposite to this though you add dred if you are not able to make v2 and v3 forms those are all irregular verbs simply generally if you speak about irregular verbs we can say like Different forms are same forms. Different forms are same forms. There will be different forms or same forms. So, meaning of irregular verbs. A verb which has different forms of verbs is known as irregular verbs. So here, different forms are there. Jump, jump, jump. Right? This is same. Yes. We just uh -huh. we just added ed here. We just added d uh -huh. or ed here to make v2 and v3 forms. But here in irregular verbs, we will have complete different forms. Yes. Complete different forms. Let me give you some examples. Go. Go. Went. Uh, yes. Gone. Go. Went. Gone. Right. There is no ed form. Or there is no D form. Three words are different. Go, went, gone. Yeah. Sometimes it will it won't change. It will remain same. V1, V2, V3 same. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Yes. This is also irregular verb. So what we can understand, what does it mean by irregular verbs? Irregular verb means there will be different three different right. forms are two different words. forms are three same forms mm. no d and ed forms yes without any d and ed those forms known as irregular words irregular forms next example run ran run run ran run next yes. each h each in each, 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 and. Next, 
स्विम स्वाम स्वम स्विम स्वाम स्वम नेक्स्ट स्पीक स्पोक स्पोकिन स्पीक स्पोक स्पोकिन so here you can observe there is smoking. yeah if you observe here there is no ed and d form right no verb has ed and d verb forms here correct that is why yes. we are calling them as irregular verbs if irregular you are able verbs. To, yes, if you are able to make ed or d by adding ed or d if you are able to make v2 and v3 forms those verbs known as regular yes If there are complete different forms or complete same forms without any d and ed forms those forms known as irregular verbs irregular. okay what the difference yeah. between regular and irregular verbs so this is about main verbs about main verbs main verbs yes now types of helping verbs types of helping verbs helping. yeah now we are going to talk about types of helping verbs yes. right so first helping verbs again divided into be, be forms do forms have forms and modals yes. helping verbs are again divided into be forms Two forms, have forms, and modals. Four types. Yes. Right. First, let us talk about be forms. What does it mean by be forms? Be forms. Am, is, are, was, were. What are be forms? Am, is, are, was, is, were. Am, is, are, was, were. Right. Am, is, are in present tense. Was, were in past tense. next do forms do does did do does did do does in present tense did in past tense past tense yes next have has had have has had have has in present tense had in had is past, past tense very good now modals can could will will shall should may might must or to use to they to need to etc can could will would shall should may might must or to use to they to need to etc these are all modals these are all Modals. Modals are modal auxiliaries, right? So now, first three, right? First three. Mm. First three can be known as first three in the sense be forms, do forms, and have forms can be known as primary auxiliaries. Primary auxiliaries. modals known as secondary auxiliaries right these are primary auxiliaries modal modals is are, secondary modals auxiliary as secondary secondary or auxiliaries good nice yes now helping work uh, one doubt is coming one yes. doubt is there yes ma'am um suppose you i want anything from somebody could you please give me or can that you please correct. give me yes eh? that is, is correct can eh? you please give me that is good yes could you would please you? give me yes could you please give me in the sense you are requesting politely Ah, politely. Yes. Would you like? Would you like to go there, or will you like to go there? Which is good. Would you like to come with us, or would you like to go? That's also polite manner. Could, would, polite. or polite versions. But not past tense. No, would is past tense. Of 
course the word is past tense but here we are considering it as a request modal auxiliary yeah. okay. modal auxiliaries right Good. now helping verbs so here i have given all the be forms next have forms and do forms but as i said earlier a helping verb in the sense it should help to the main verb correct a helping verb in the sense yeah. it should help to the main verb but in main this verb. case in this case helping verbs are acting as main verbs yeah 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 helping yeah. verbs are acting as main acting verbs. as the main verb right? yes so yeah. i am at office there is no verb am itself the main verb it is nothing but yes. status i mean stating the status where the subject is it's stating about the subject next he is a boy he is a boy it is stating about the subject right so you are my friend so here you have to observe these are all whatever there in red colors these are the words actually helping verbs but in this case they are all acting as main verbs i am at office he is a boy you are my friend i had my lunch i had two books he has a house in the city we do yoga every day he does his home work in the morning she did her home work yesterday right so if you observe all helping verbs acting as the main verbs okay though they are helping verbs they are acting as the main mm -hmm. verbs all right now types of helping verbs be forms i'm playing cricket so what is the main verb here playing subject mm -hmm. i so am is the helping verb it is helping to subject and verb am is helping to subject and verb am playing cricket playing so in what way how it is helping for example i playing cricket it's not complete meaning there is something mm -hmm. missing right by adding am am playing cricket or simply we can say by adding a helping verb we can easily understand that when the action exactly happening i am playing cricket means now he is playing okay i was playing cricket in the sense of course was is also past form i was playing cricket in the sense it is referring to the past tense when the action happened it is giving clear information about it that way the was, was also also helping verb only yes i am i was i had i will everywhere yeah. present past future in all tenses we can use helping verbs right i am i was i will all right next do forms right do do you hear me he doesn't come here you did not play well right so if you observe here all the do forms have been giving support do you hear me right here interrogation asking the question he does not he does not in the sense simple present tense he does not come here you are talking now he doesn't come here simple present tense you did not play well it is referring to past tense simple past tense okay next how forms i haven't seen him i haven't seen him seen him present perfect tense he has he has spoken english he has spoken english present perfect she had finished her homework she had finished her homework past perfect yes past perfect perfect yes so here all the helping verbs are supporting 
when the action exactly happened so all the helping verbs are supporting in giving complete meaning when the action completed when that particular action completed that's why we are calling them as helping verbs now talk about modals right now these are all modals okay so now just look at all the modals so in one column i have given all the modals and in other column i have given their usage where we can use them so can can be used to talk about ability permission request possibility could ability request possibility in past tense shall maturity willingness intention suggestion insistence should right in past tense can could can present tense could in past tense shall in present tense should in past tense will in present tense would in past tense may in present tense might in past tense must or to used to need to that these can be used in all conditions like simple present simple past also all right so now these are the modals in red color whatever the uh, words are there in red color those are all modals and in the blue color that is nothing but usage of those modals can ability permission request and possibility could ability request and possibility shall fisherity willingness intention suggestion insistence should obligation advisability necessity expectation will willingness intention prediction insistence and request would willingness habitual action in the past ability wishes desires may permission possibility wishes purpose concession might permission possibility concession or approach must necessity prohibition compulsion obligation certainty probability or to moral obligation duty necessity desirability used to past discontinued habit used to can be used only for past discontinued habit right next need necessity importance and desirability there challenge courage boldness and disapproval so these are all modals as well as their 